Kena, a city on the banks of the Nile in Egypt. Life can move slowly here, but this is a place where a battle is being fought, where a community is saying no to female genital mutilation, or FGM. FGM, also known as female circumcision or cutting, is in most cases the removal or partial removal of a woman or girl's external genitalia, often the clitoris and labia. In other times, the vulva is sewn and closed. Mainly practiced in Africa and the Middle East, it's usually performed on children, from babies as young as a few weeks old to teenagers. According to the UN, 130 million women and girls alive today are victims of FGM. In Egypt, 90% of those under 50 have undergone female genital mutilation. In 2008, FGM was banned in Egypt by law, but the practice still continues. Shaima Gad Abbas is 18 and an FGM survivor. I first heard about female circumcision at a meeting in my village. They were talking about the various harms of circumcision. We shouldn't be circumcised because it causes so much damage. In Egypt, the UN and its partners are using public service announcements, community activists, development agencies and the media to spread the message about the horrors of FGM. And increased awareness is making a difference. Women at this community program can gather together to share their stories and comfort one another. Mona Amin is an FGM expert at the UN Development Program. Besides the uh, physical, uh, the, the physical harm that is uh, uh, implied on women, uh, there is also the psychological part, which when we sit with women, they mostly talk about. They feel that it's it's a humiliation for them to go through such a practice. Uh, Young girls are very uh, uh, touched when, when you talk to them about FGM because the most common word that we hear from women is that it's the worst day of my life. That day still haunts survivor Shaima Arabi Abdel Moati. She's determined to speak out. I think circumcision is a violence against women and there are no admissible texts that support its practice. The mother that Shaima will become will not circumcise her daughters. And this is key to the fight against FGM, says Ignacio Artaza, UNDP's country director in Egypt. The strongest advocates are the families themselves. The girls, the daughters, the mothers, the fathers, the neighbors, as you can hear from their testimonies. And the reason is very simple, because we are removing pain from their lives. Girls are able to continue at school, they grow healthy, and they are happy. For the United Nations, this is Alexandra King.